Hey from Michael Shung here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a logo slide in like this inside of Da Vinci Resolve. So first, we're going to show you how to do it fully inside of the edit, but also how to do it inside of Fusion. So uh, in the edit, you can actually do it. However, there is some issues if your logo have quite a lot of color, but if you only have a total white or total black logo that should not be an issue unless you also really like to have like a certain color blend mode but uh, let's go into the edit so let's grab a logo first so grab my logo over here let's put it down there and we go into the effects here so we search for the effect push so press on this uh, search here and then type in push and under motion we grab the push transition put it on here in the front so if we play this we see it push in from the left however uh, we don't want that so press on this uh, section and we get a lot of the options here parameters that we can change so first thing we want it to come from the bottom so here you can basically choose where from which direction you want to it to move so we want it to push up and another effect that we want to change is the ease. Uh, normally it's set to none, so we change this to uh, ease out. Also here we can change the duration of the transition. However, uh, 25 for me is okay. So now let's play this. So it now nicely, slowly moves our ease out. However, we don't want it to come all the way from the bottom. We want it to just slightly uh, come out under it from an invisible wall however uh, yeah to do that uh, we can't really just directly crop it because if we crop it we just crop the logo and uh, yeah it doesn't really do anything because it will move with the push transition so to do a crop we have to do something a extra step so click on the clip right mouse click on it and choose new compound clip and then press create so now it's basically a clip inside of a clip and now we can choose or do a crop so we crop from the bottom here and just slightly not cropping it so it's just crop it's under there so if we play this we see it coming out just slightly under it so this you might think oh this looks really well this is all done however if I grab this image and put it under here and play this we see there's an issue so we see that here on top we have this black section that is due to the push transition um, yeah it does this kind of weird thing so a walk around for this is to click the compound clip and then change the composite mode change this to add if we play this we now see that there is no uh, black down here so yeah basically it looks like an easy fix however if you have a color logo or a colored logo it would mean like it would blend in with the background if you have quite a lot of color so uh, if you have a black logo you would need to use darken and uh, yeah or any of the other uh, yeah composite or blend mode but uh, yeah, if you have a colored one, it might actually blend in with the background unless you like the result that it does. So now let's show you to do the same effect, but with Fusion, especially if you have a colored logo. Grab the logo again here. And now uh, actually put this also behind here. Now just click the logo PNG and then go into Fusion. So my PNG actually has a lot of like extra space around it. So we need to crop this. And if your logo does not have that extra space, you might not need to crop it. So first go to tools here. We go to transform. We choose crop first and then we choose transform. So now we click the crop here. And we choose the Y size because we want to do an up down. However, if you want to do like a left side slide in or a right side slide in, you need to change the X, Y size. However, don't do it on both 
uh, x, y, and the or the x and y size because that will cause some issue with her scale up the size of the logo. And also one thing we want to click on is keep it centered. So click this, keep it centered. Now we're gonna change the x, y. So we crop the top and bottom. So just cropping it. So this makes us if we move it up and down that it would hide under here. So now go to transform and now we move to the amount of frames you want. We want this animation to be around 20 frames. So here we see 20. You could also type it in here to be 20. So we have here the center here which is where the positioning is. Uh, one thing I like to turn off is use the size and aspect because it's kind of is really annoying to move things with it. So now we press this uh, button here or this uh, yeah keyframe to turn on a keyframe. So it adds a keyframe here. Now we move the timeline to the front over here and we move by dragging this Y down just so the logo is slightly out of frame. So now we have that the two keyframes made. So when we play this, you can see it moving up. However, we see there's no ease in, ease out. So click this over here and we drag this to add a nice ease in or ease out. So now when we play this, we have a nice ease out that it actually slows down at the end. So if we now go back into the edit, and play this we have now the effect inside of the edit now and this is how you do the slide in effect inside of fusion hope you found this a very useful tutorial if you have any questions or any other tutorials you want me to teach you inside of davinci resolve please comment it here below and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button here below thank you guys for watching and I hope you stay safe out there and CD out.